Today we're gonna talk about Didier Ramon, bass player, founding member and chief songwriter of the most famous punk rock band of all time, the Ramones. Their loud and fast musical style was influenced by pop music that the band members grew up listening to in the 50s and 60s, including classic rock bands such as The Who and The Beach Boys. Despite achieving only limited commercial success, the Ramones became probably the most influential punk rock group ever, and still today, their legacy is alive and well. Longtime bass player DD was initially also the band's lead vocalist, though his inability to sing and play bass at the same time led to original drummer Joey Ramone taking over the lead vocalist duties and DD focusing on bass, where he would develop his unique technique based on speed and a trademark simplicity. So if you're a fan of the Ramones and you'd like to bring some DD into your style, here's a little how-to. Rule number one, only downstrokes. The Ramones are often cited as the first true punk rock group and when they came out in 1974 they were different from all the other bands in the scene. They stripped down rock and roll to its bare ass and built their career on a very simple and straightforward style since day one. One of the main features that made the Ramones sound different was a very aggressive sound that they partially achieved by using exclusively down picking both on guitar and bass, mostly eighth notes, on every song, all the time. Though it looks like a simple technique, it does require a lot of practice, stamina and a few adjustments, especially for a traditional bass player like CJ Ramon that will replace DD for the last seven years of the band's activity. I was always a finger player. I, I knew, of course, being a fan for years that they only did down picking. I did not have the stamina to be able to do it. My forearm was locking up, really seriously locking up. Most Ramon's songs are crazy fast. So the only way to put up with it is rule number two, which is use only your wrist to pick. The only way to down pick real fast and for an extended period of time is take your forearm out of it and let the wrist do the work. And I was only using my wrist. I realized, wow, I can play really fast in this position. But this is easier said than done, as most of pick players naturally use both wrist and forearm to hold and use the pick. However, there's a perfect way to force a bass player to use only his wrist to down pick. And this is rule number three, which is lower your bass till your right arm is fully extended. That was a little secret that I learned at that point is, you know, as soon as I dropped it down, it was all wrist and that was it. I skated from there. So take down the bass to your knees. Not only you'll be able to cope with some really fast down picking, but you also have the right posture on stage. Because to play like D.D. Ramon, you also need to look unconquerable. Another thing you have to do to be able to play bass Ramon's style is to insert some quarter notes among the eight notes wrist. This way you will have a very quick rest for your wrist. This is something that happens on most of Ramon's music and it's probably a necessity that eventually became a songwriting standard. The longer note normally happens at the beginning or at the end of the bar, and sometimes it's underlined by a symbol. Rule number five, play a root all the time. Beside a few exceptional like Baby I Love You or She's the One and maybe a few more, the bass and the guitar always go together. Guitar player Johnny Ramon didn't play solos, didn't play riffs, didn't play arpeggios, didn't have any pedal and only used full six strings bar ray chords and occasionally power chords. To keep it tight, DD has to be his shadow and he copied exactly what the guitar did. No slapping, no slides, no hammer-ons, no bending, no pedals, nothing other than the root note of the chord played by the guitar. It worked perfectly for the Ramones, who having no lead instrument were relying only on chord sequences for the instrumental parts. So the guitar locked in with the drums, the bass locked in with the guitar, and the result was the wall of sound Ramones are known for. Number 6. Use a Fender Precision Bass Only. Some bass players like to experiment with different instruments or at least different amps throughout their career. 
often to match the style evolution or just to try out new stuff and keep things interesting. But not the Ramones, their style never changed during their 20 years long career and DD never changed bass or amplifier for all the 15 years he was in the band and he played a precision bass through an Ampeg amplifier on every single album and at every single show. The Ramones were not about virtuosity, they were about just do it. The band kickstarted the whole do it yourself, you don't have to play well punk rock ethos. On stage they looked and acted and sounded like one tight unit and this is something that is still sold by every punk rock band today. So was DD Ramon a good or a bad player? Not up to us to decide, all we can do is decide if we like him or not. And even though he surely wasn't a technically advanced player, he did become an icon that inspired thousands of people to pick up a bass and start a band. So whether we like the Ramones or not, he deserves our respect. Thank you so much for watching the video, don't forget to let me know what you think about DD in the comments below. Please subscribe and follow me on Instagram.